On today's show, our friends at Evapo Rust have something new for the guys, so check it out. Welcome to Motorhead Garage. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about cooling systems. Got this old Corvette here, it's got a big block in it, and it's got some rust in the cooling system. You know, your cooling system picks up heat in the water in the antifreeze mixture, comes up through the thermostat, goes through the radiator, exchanges the heat. If you've got rust, rust is an insulator, so it causes the engine to run hot, so you want to get the rust out of it. So what I did was I took a bucket, went underneath here, opened the petcock, and I drained it into a bucket here. You want to save that, dispose of it properly. So I'm going to get down here and just close this petcock, which is right up here at the bottom of the radiator, near the shroud. That's good. And remember, get rid of this stuff properly because it is toxic to pets and birds. Keep your creeper up so you don't step on it and go on your butt. The next thing you want to do is put something in here that's going to get rid of the rust. All right, to just flush it with water is not going to do you any good. So we've got David Harris here from Evapo Rust. He's got something great and new to get rid of rust in a cooling system. So what you got there? We've got Thermocure. It's a new product from us. This okay. is a safe, non-toxic rust remover for your cooling system. Okay, so you put it in there with water? Yes. And then you run it? That's what you do. We're just mm -hmm. going to drop it in. Okay. It's a concentrated product, so we can dilute it with water. One quart is going to do cooling systems up to three gallons. Wow, that's just about what this thing here is. That's about right, yeah. Yep. Okay, now that we got the thermocure in there, there's fresh water in that bucket. That's you right. want to start pouring that in here? You bet. What we're going to do, we're going to top this up, and we're going to fire it up, let it run until the thermostat opens, but out the pressure cap on. That'll burp out some of the air. Then we'll run it, get it up to temperature, let it circulate. Let the thermocure sit in there for a while, then we'll flush it with cold water. All right, petcock's closed. <laughs> All right, earlier in the show, what we did was we started off with a rusty cooling system, and we put in the thermocure after we drained it, put in some water, we ran it. We've run this through several times. But let me show you what we took out of it originally. Here's what we had. Yep. And of course, that was a green antifreeze when it started. You can see it's got kind of a reddish, rusty tint to it. And the problem with the rust is the rust is an insulator, and you can't exchange the heat. Now, this is the drain right after we did our first drain, after adding. Look at all that yeah. rust in there. The Thermocure pulls out the rust, and it dissolves. It doesn't bring out flakes or anything to plug you up. That's right. It's going to make it a liquid iron after this. So now you're going to have all that rust out of your engine in this liquid, and then you're not going to have any more problems with overheating and, and uh, clogging. That's great. Now, here's a tip. When you take your first drain after using the Thermocure, you know, it's made by Evaporust, this is still a good rust eater, so save it. Want to take any rusty parts or tools, put them in there. Or do another car. Yeah, or do another car, that's right. Okay. All right, so now what we've done is we've flushed this with clean water two or three times. We just drained it out. Now that we're clear, I closed the petcock. We're going to go ahead and put 50-50 mix of antifreeze back in the radio. You want to mix that up? Now, we start off with a gallon of fresh water put a gallon of antifreeze in it. Now you have a 50-50 mixture, and of course, what that does is make sure you've got a consistent mix through there. I'll go ahead and crank it up. Are you ready to go there, David? Just about. All right. There we go. So we'll start pouring in the 50-50 mix of water and antifreeze. We're gonna let it run, keep the pressure cap off, when the thermostat opens, when the hot water flows through the top hose, we'll expel any, any trapped air, put a pressure cap on it, and we're done. Hope you learned something about cooling systems. We're out of time. We'll see you next time here at Motorhead Garage.